Hello, in this video I would like to showcase the Relive engine. This is an open source Apes Odyssey, Apes Exodus engine, um, which intends to replace the current version of the game, because some people are simply incapable of running it properly on modern systems. Um, for instance, if you want to play the game on Linux right now, you can, however, it will not be a pleasant experience. Uh, if you have epilepsy, you might want to uh, skip into the video a bit. So if I start the game right now, first, it won't even do anything. But when it actually opens in a second, as you can see, the resolution is very small. And during cutscenes, it keeps on flickering really hard. So, once you are actually inside the game, it works fine. Uh, however, it's obvious that it's not exactly a pleasant experience like this. So now if I exit from here and uh, open up the new engine in a second. As you can see it already opens in a window. So no dump flickering or anything. The cutscenes themselves are much more fl fluent. And what's really cool about this is that if I want to, I don't have to play in a, in a window so little. I can simply grab it and enlarge it. I can even put it in full screen. And uh, if you find this stretching annoying, there is an option in the game settings that lets you uh, keep the aspect ratio. As you can see it's still bigger, however now uh, the aspect ratio is kept. Similarly there is another option to enable or disable a screen filter. If you look at the environment closely it's quite pixelated. I think it still looks pretty good, however if you prefer a bit more rounded visuals, then you can turn this on. And as you can see, everything looks a bit blurred. I personally prefer it without the filter, but you do you. <clears throat> the engine also lets you turn off the reverb and turn between stereo and mono sounds. It also has a bunch of Debug options, but this is not really interesting right now. If you try the engine out yourself, you will be able to experiment with this. Anyway, as you can see, the game works just as expected. You can play it through from start to finish. Some people already have. It also features the same <laughs> flying cheat like we are all used to. You can talk to Mudakans, you can kill the Mudakans, oops. You can also possess slaves. Point is, you shouldn't be able to notice that, every, that anything is different from what you're used to. Anyway, but this is not all the project is about. Uh, people have discovered quite a few bugs in the game, in the original I mean. They put it inside the list. You can see that there is currently one Abe's Alissive bug and oof, who even knows how many Abe's Exodus bugs. Oh, there is a number, 86. Uh, the people who are working on this engine are fixing these bugs 
as we speak. There are also a few bugs that the new engine introduced, but of course these will to be fixed. Uh, and once the bugs are fixed and both games work perfectly, there are even a bunch of feature requests from the community that will get introduced. Uh, they created the roadmap that you can see here. We are currently in this stage. If the Exodus is playable, it has some bugs, but as I said, you can play it from start to finish. However, Exodus is in an early earlier state of development. Almost half of the code is already finished. However, the game is currently not playable yet. Once both are done, uh, the bugs will be fixed, and then the two engines will be merged into one. This is good, because eventually, once the whole code base is finalized, the team intends to create a modding framework and a level editor. A lot of people have already created custom levels for the games using Paul's level editor. Paul is, in fact, one of the main developers who works on this game. I mean, this engine. So if you are maybe part of the modding scene or have enjoyed a few custom levels, this engine is for you too. Uh, if you want to try the engine, you should head over to this page. It can be found on the engine's website under this link. Once you have opened it, you should click on the platform. If you have a 32-bit PC, which I pretty much doubt, but if you do, then you click on this one. And if you have a 64-bit PC, then you click on this. And once it has loaded, you click on this artifact button and download this zip. It will contain a bunch of files, but you will only need to this one, Alive EXE AE, and uh, another DLL called SDL2 DLL. You need to drop both of these inside the games folder like this. Uh, if you install the game using GOG, then you probably know where the game is installed. If not, you can simply right click on the game in Steam, click on Manage, and then Browse Local Files. It will open the folder of the game. After you have dropped the game here, the engine here, you can simply double click it and uh, it will work as you expect it to. If you want to contribute to this project, there uh, it has a Discord that everyone is free to join to. We are looking for playtesters, people who can program, and also people who are willing to document the code. Uh, also, the project is looking for financial support, so if you would like to see this project finished, then please consider supporting it. Anyway, I hope you liked what you see. And um, please have fun with the engine. Goodbye.